Hi everybody, this is Brian Mulligan, and this is a little video tip on how to unlink and relink your file-based material inside of Smoke. And if you've read my blog post, you'll get the whole sorted backstory on why I'm actually doing this tutorial. But for now, let's just look at what we've got. Right here we've got a timeline. Here's just a, a simple little timeline I've cut together. It's basically just got a few shots. There's some uh, soft effects on here. Obviously some dissolves. And at the end, there is a graphic made up of some video material and some uh, graphic material. Alright, so here's a simple little timeline. And here's our source mat material up here. Now, what would happen if for whatever reason your video was no longer accessible? Let's say your frame stored dies, or the, the material you're actually linking to in the gateway has been moved for whatever reason. Maybe the drive it was on went bad and you had to move it and back it up to another location. Uh, the gateway is very specific in how it points to the material, so once it's moved, uh, the only way to really get things back is to unlink that material and relink it. All right, so we've got our material here, so what I'm going to do is just clear this edit desk here. And I've saved all this to the library. All right, so I'll go into our flood library here. All right, so in the library, uh, if all this material were no longer accessible, you know, like the gateway had gone down and, and, and the material had been moved, or if, like I said, if your frame store had gone down, then uh, none of this material would actually still be here. Uh, and most people think that in order to get the clips back in your edits, in your sequence, that all you have to do is basically unlink and relink your source material. So if you go to source, go to unlink, and it would be unlinked, and then you go through the process of relinking it, that all of that material will then repopulate back into your source edit. And that's actually not true. Uh, all this will do is actually relink the source, but none of that information actually populates back into your edit. Because the way Smoke works and the way the library works is when you take a clip from the library and you copy it onto the edit desk and you start working with it and you start building sequences, uh, those are actually copies of that material. Uh, so unlinking this material and relinking it really won't populate itself back into the edit. It just doesn't work that way. So what you need to do is actually work on your sequence and uh, do the unlink and relink on your sequence. All right. So what we'll do here is we'll create a new library and we'll name it relink me. All right, and we'll go into our dual view here, and what we'll do is we'll go down and grab our sequence, and we'll just copy it up. So I'm just going to make a copy and move it into a fresh library. All right, let's actually look at that library. There we go. Now, if we look at our edit, you can you can or look at our sequence. You can actually look at the clips inside the edit. All right, so here are our clips inside of our edit, including you know our sequence that we've got, including our uh, graphic output that we built inside of Action. And you'll see that that actually has a history on it. So if we look at the history of that, you can see that here are the clips that uh, made up that clip inside of history. All right. So what we need to do is uh, unlink all of this material and then relink it back to its original sources. All right, so I'll just hide our history and hide our edits real quick. And we'll select our source, and we'll basically just do uh, an unlink uh, on it as well. Now I'm going to choose, it's down here inside of Tools, Unlink. Uh, I'm going to hit Audio and Video. I'm going to hit Unlink All in All Resolutions. So when I do that, it will ask me to confirm. And now all of this material is unlinked. So if we you can see that all of this material now is unlinked and uh, basically plays back as nothing. If you click on each individual source in here, you can see that uh, it really has no idea where it is or where it came from. All right. So to get everything back in our sequence, let's just relink it now. What we need to do is uh, open up a dual view. So what we need to do is point smoke to the actual location of where this material is. Now, like I said, if uh, for whatever reason it was moved to a new location, then just point it to the new location. So we'll browse the network. We'll go to our volumes. And I know that most of this material is in uh, this folder called postcards. Uh, this is all P2-based material. All right, so I've got three cards here based in this folder. So I really don't know what video uh, the cards came from. 
So I'm just going to open them all up. Alright, so here we've got our video. A bunch of our clips, pretty much everything from that shoot. So I know uh, pretty much all of the edits that I use and the shots I use are actually in this uh, location. So you actually do have to have all of the uh, folders open and accessible like this for Smoke for the Gateway so that uh, it can actually find the video. If one of these is closed, uh, it's not actually going to search this location. So pretty much pop everything up or you can hit scan subdirectories and it will scan through all of them. All right. So now we go down to the relink options. Select our sequence up here and we'll hit relink. Now what we need to do is actually not relink from real or from the library. We actually want to relink from the gateway. And to do this, we're just going to choose clip name and we'll say clip timecode and use tape. Now I'm going to use tape here because I find that that's uh, actually beneficial in keeping that last graphic that we had. Uh, when I was doing the demo for this, uh, I noticed that if I didn't have, if I just use clip tape and use timecode, that often that uh, that clip would actually get uh, overwritten with uh, some actual video clip and not actually maintain the uh, history and the graphic of that of our end tag that we built. But use tape on will actually uh, keep that from happening because uh, when you build a clip inside of Action, it actually sort of does assign it a tape name. So if the tape name doesn't match down here in the source clips, which it really won't, then uh, it will keep it up here in your uh, sequence and good as new. So use tape. And I'm actually going to deselect use frame rate because I really don't care about that. All right, so you can basically choose your selections. So what I'm going to do is uh, hit relink. It will ask me to detect the number of relinkable media entries in the imported gateway. All right. We'll go through and check. It will found four video sources. And I really wish that that uh, message would stay up longer, but for that matter, it's going to find what it's going to find. So it'll ask me to try and relink them. All right, so it gives me that uh, four relink video sources and zero audio sources in one clip. Uh, two video sources are still missing, and that's actually okay. So and it's also uh, sent the job to the back burner manager because I'm actually running proxies uh, in this project. So it's actually building proxies in the background. All right, so if I click on our edit again, and we look at the show edits, you can see that uh, this clip is still unlinked. You couldn't find that one. And uh, these are pending render and building proxies in the background. And our action output is also unlinked, which is good because this is actually what we want. So if, we, if you do have a rogue clip that wasn't in this source library, uh, in this gateway that was open, maybe it was in another location, uh, we can actually go and, and find that as well. So I do happen to know that that location is actually in... So I do happen to know that that location is actually in this folder here. And if we pop over to that folder, uh, I believe it was in card one. All right, and here's a bunch of water sequences. So if you just have one clip that, might, that you might want to relink to, you can actually do it uh, this way as well. You can actually find the clip, which in this case is uh, 77E, and that would be this clip down here. You can actually just physically drag it up and on top of this clip, and when you get the little green down arrow, it will automatically do a force relink. So it will actually say force this event to be relinked to the incoming source. So you can actually do a manual uh, link to that for any sources that uh, you haven't found. I could actually have opened this library and told it to relink and it would have found it automatically, but this seems just as easy for one clip. All right. So while that's building proxies in the background, let's just load this back onto our editor. As we look at our edit, you can see that we've got our clips back. Our soft effects are still with our clips and just need to be rendered. So if you look at this light gray area here, you can see that this is still unlinked media, but it still has history with it for our graphic end tag. Now with history clips, there's a little bit of manual massaging that you need to do in order to get them back. So if we look at the history, you can see basically that we've got several modules here that the clips went through and these green 
areas here are the green source clips. Uh, so what we need to do is basically take those clips, match them out, and relink them, and then put them back into the history here, and then it will just re-render all the history settings, and then your graphic end tag will come back. So let's do that. If we take our first clip here, you can select it, and if we just hit match, it will match back out onto the desktop. If we take our other clip here, we can hit match, and it too will match back out onto the desktop. All right, so let's just take these clips here and drop them back into our library. So if we go into our library, we can then take our clips here that we just dropped in and unlink those as well. Let's go to Tools, Unlink, Video and Audio, Unlink All, and Unlink. All right, so now those clips are unlinked. Now if we open up a dual view, we can go back into the gateway. And connect to those clips. All right, so I know that this is the right folder for these clips. Uh, I can actually see this clip here is 275 and 275 here. So what we'll do is we'll just have it automatically relink from the gateway. Use clip name and timecode and hit relink. And now it's relinked in pending render. And if you can see, it is uh, the clip is accessible here. The pending render is once again making proxies in the background. So for this clip here, which is our graphic clip, it actually does give me the source path of where this clip was. So as long as it's still there, or if I need to, like I said, repoint to it at a new location, uh, I can do that. But for right now, let's go back to the gateway. And it is in textures. And here's our texture here. Now. You know, at this point, since it's if I relink it, it's just going to become new material. I can also just drag this up and re-import this one clip again. All right, so I take my new clips that are linked and brought back in. Bring them back to the desktop. Here are my new clips. So if we go back and look at the history. So basically all we have to do is replace these source clips and then reprocess everything else. So if I hit control and double tap on a module, I can simply reload its source. Then that source goes back in there. If I go to time warp here, I can hit do the same, hit control, double tap. Choose the source. And the sources get populated in there. At that point, all I have to do is really just go maybe go to the end hit. So all I have to do is really just uh, click a module and hit render, and every process throughout the history will get rebuilt. And when the process is all complete, your end tag graphic is rebuilt. And the only thing really left to do at that point is to, so the only thing left to do is reprocess the timeline for the soft effects, and your edit sequence is back as good as new. If anyone has any questions about unlinking and relinking clips in Smoke, uh, feel free and just drop me a message on the blog, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching.